In the realm of modern warfare, foreign entities are rapidly embracing technological prowess to extend their influence beyond the skies, venturing deep into the aquatic domains of the world's oceans. Enter the era of controlled underwater drones, poised to prove their mettle amidst the tumultuous backdrop of the Russian-Ukrainian war. In this unfolding saga, the deployment of underwater drones emerges as a pivotal force multiplier, reshaping the dynamics of maritime conflict in unprecedented ways. In the wake of a significant strategic shift, DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has inked contracts under the ambitious Manta Ray program. Collaborators such as Northrop Grumman Systems Corporation and Martin Defense Group have embarked on the arduous journey of developing and manufacturing their unique iterations of the Manta Ray underwater drone. After nine months of dedicated effort, these state-of-the-art manta ray drones have emerged from the crucible of testing, prompting several NATO nations to pledge the transfer of their predecessor models to Ukraine. The vanguard of this technological tide comes from the British Navy, delivering six Remus underwater drones to Ukraine's arsenal. While ostensibly designed for mine clearance and humanitarian tasks, the Remus, signifying remote environmental monitoring units, harbors latent potential for an expansive range of combat missions. This eclectic sextet of British drones, transplanted into Ukrainian hands, may very well become potent instruments of conflict, altering the course of events. But let's delve into the chronicle of these submerged champions. At the forefront stands the Remus 100, born from the creative crucible of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Massachusetts. This remote-controlled marvel, often wielded for seabed mapping, underwater photography, and mine disposal in civilian domains, has taken on a military mantle as the MK-18 Mod 1 Swordfish. With a depth capability of 330 feet, the Swordfish, measuring 5.25 feet in length and 7.5 inches in hull diameter, weighs 81.5 pounds. This compact form empowers a single operator to maneuver the device effortlessly. Swordfish boasts a maximum speed of 5 knots, with a cruising velocity of 3 knots, providing a remarkable endurance of 22 hours before requiring recharging. Its DC brushless motor draws power from a Lion battery, driving a three-bladed propeller that propels the drone. Navigation is facilitated through acoustic transponders employing long or ultra-short wave modes, as well as GPS. These transponders, numbering five, contribute to precise location determination, ensuring optimal operational efficiency. The Swordfish's dual onboard sonar scanners enable the detection of objects as diminutive as a soccer ball. Upon identifying a potential threat, the drone approaches for visual confirmation via its camera. Operators assess the degree of danger and subsequently dispatch divers to the identified region, neutralizing the peril as per Royal Navy directives. Though not originally designed for submarine detection, the Swordfish's proficiency in reconnaissance, even in challenging visibility conditions, prompts contemplation of its potential in this realm. Apart from reconnaissance, Swordfish is adept at patrolling water areas, its operator monitoring real-time situations from a secure vantage point. Undetectable by adversaries and equipped with an intuitive interface, this drone represents an invaluable asset. Evidently, the deployment of British underwater drones has raised alarms in the Russian Black Sea Fleet's headquarters as Ukrainian naval assets deploy these covert operatives in the face of ship losses and encirclement in Odessa, Ismail, and Nikali of Bays. The pursuit of naval parity has been complicated by the presence of submarines, as the Russian Federation Black Sea Fleet 7 units remain impervious to Ukrainian threats. The considerable depth of the western Black Sea, maxing out at 980 feet, offers refuge to Russian Varshavyanka-type submarines armed with caliber missiles. Employing these missiles, Russia targets Ukrainian cities, utilizing submarines to approach the Ukrainian coast and minimize air defense interception. In response, Ukrainian coastal defense leverages harpoon missiles, capable of assaulting surface targets at water level, alongside domestically designed Neptune missiles. The harpoon's limitation, however, lies in its ability to strike a submarine only during its ascent, coinciding with the launch of caliber cruise missiles. The Swordfish drone's ability to preemptively detect submarines could enhance Ukrainian air defense and increase the probability of neutralizing hostile threats. Training Ukrainian operators to harness the potential of these underwater drones is already underway. A collaboration with British and U.S. Navy 6th Fleet instructors has extended the training period to three weeks, acknowledging the complexity of managing multiple drone models simultaneously. Among these models, the military variations of Remus 600 and Remus M3V are concealed. 
The Rima 600 drone, denoted by its metric system depth immersion capability of nearly 2,000 feet, is named the MK-18 Ma-2 Kingfish. While similar to the swordfish in speed, Kingfish boasts an unparalleled continuous operation time of 70 hours, rendering it a formidable reconnaissance asset. As the arsenal of underwater drones finds its place in Ukraine's maritime strategy, the balance of power in the Black Sea undergoes a seismic shift. Though the capability to decimate enemy fleets and submarines remains distant, the mere presence of these underwater scouts complicates enemy naval operations, transforming the naval theater. The unfolding narrative of underwater drones in this burgeoning conflict serves as a testament to the dawn of a new era in warfare, where covert innovation reigns supreme.